these things come with all these tips. And if you look at the existing one, you can see right where my thumb is, it's gray. So I'll use the gray one. All right, so you want to make sure that the new one is at the same height as the old one. And to do that, you can just twist it. I just want to make sure it's the same height. It's close enough for me. And I'm going to screw it back on. So since this is plastic, you don't want to make it too tight, but you want to make sure it's not going to leak. And now this thing attaches onto here, and if I did everything right, it shouldn't leak. I'm going to put this back just in case. back on. <laughs> Alright, so that works where it, it actually turned the water off, so that's good. Um, I noticed there was a little bit of a leak coming from here, though. That's because I put this on wrong. This part's supposed to face up, I think. I believe. <laughs> I like the old drip coming from here, but... There we go, that stopped it. So just make sure you push this in tight. I'll give you a new hose, so I think I'm going to put that on too. Might as well replace it since I got it, right? So that's it. That's how you replace a Kohler silent fill valve. Hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.